All right, welcome. Yeah, so let's get into um, some of our topics. Like, I think particularly the big one uh, was uh, this this whole like thing with. Um, let's see, is this the right one? Uh, okay, so yeah, so this whole thing with John Del Araz. So yeah, yeah, I was Del, um, yeah, De La Rose. Yeah, John yeah, Del so, Rose. Um, my friend uh, Leon from Words of Paradise, he um, criticized. He did a, a video calling out John's like opinions and tourism on Zelda, and then somehow got him on his sh his Monday show, where mm -hmm. I, I watched part of that Monday show, and um, the guy just won't concede that he's wrong, that and that like you know he he only cares about the political narrative. And like pushing, like you know, he doesn't care about all the pre-established lore that suggests Zelda is a powerful badass. No, yeah, yeah, most definitely. And plus, with Della Rhodes, I mean, he, I, I mean, me and him was going back and forth because after I made my video, I'm um, talking about Della Rhodes. Della Rhodes comes onto my YouTube channel and says, you know, for for starters, he was saying that he's not even a YouTuber; he's more of a indie comic guy, and he just uses channel to pretty much promote his indie comics but when you look on his page i mean all his stuff is culture war stuff so the yeah, dude is pretty cool. much essentially he's essentially a grifter and i think and the reason why he won't he's constantly doubling down on it because he's using this controversy to try to you know catapult his comic book stuff he sells he sells he writes his own comics and everything he's trying to sell his comics so that's why he's yeah. coming into the space grifting hoping that that controversy get more people to look at his work so they can buy his books that's all this is about from for this guy yeah. yeah, so I want to go over, like, so um, my friend uh, Cult Classic Cage, um, you know, made a great comment under your comment about the uh, portion of the anti-wokes are terminally online and obsessed with culture war and are so dead at just winning. They have abandoned the principles they have just, like, those they hate. And, like, that's kind of one of the inspirations for my channel. I wanted to mm -hmm. talk about culture stuff, but I, you know, I if that was where my channel was going to go. And, but I also just wanted to have fun. Cause I feel like, you know, like a bunch of like, you know, the bigger channels especially have just be become so locked mm -hmm. that they, you know, they forgot how to like, you know, you know be a nerd, you just enjoy things. You know, oh, yeah. like, so um, anyway, I have, um, yeah. So uh, Del Rose like is, very like anti uh bounding into comics you know I, I it just seems like you know all this is stems from like you know john f trent the uh founder moved on to park place and since then mm -hmm. like you know bounding has become a little bit more like moderate i guess like you know mm -hmm. and in how they talk about certain issues particularly like lgbt stuff mm -hmm. and um and now he said that like they turned he called them disney shells on um Oh, on Leon's yeah. show, which is just absolutely inaccurate. In no way are they shilling for Disney. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, so, like, he's mad he didn't get a promotion. He, he's mad he didn't get, like... And, and so, like, he's he's making all, all this shit about bounding, like, trying to slander them in favor of, like, the you know, like... You know, it's just it's just clear he only cares about like politics. He doesn't care about like you know like the context and the substance mm -hmm. of what we're actually talking about. You don't. That's the thing. That's why I'm. That's why I'm trying to teach my viewers on on my YouTube channel that there's like a lot of these topics aren't so black and white. There's some nuance to it. You have to really dig deep and you have to take a dive into it and look at all the very very details that's there before just jumping the gun, calling something woke or the opposite and everything like that. And I want people to not be too reactionary. I know for since 2014 all the way to now that we've been getting hit with all this social politics stuff, especially coming from the woke side and everything. And, and everybody's a little antsy. Everybody's a little bit frustrated and everything. But you still have to sit back and you have to analyze this stuff. And I, I, I've learned over the course of being on social media and being on YouTube that you have to do that because you don't want to put out, especially when people go to your channel for information, people start, people don't want to think for themselves nowadays. And that's what we've gotten into with social media. Everybody's creating their own echo yeah. chambers. You have all these content creators that people 
put on this pedestal and a lot of people don't want to think for themselves they want these people to think for them and now we have a huge responsibility as content creators to be make sure that we are we have the information correct and everything because people are looking for you for the answers i don't really want that responsibility but i i still take that under consideration so i try everything at the best of my ability to make sure i get all the information correct because i don't want to fear monger people I, that's yeah. not what my channel's it about and that's yeah, I want to give uh, the correct information. I yeah, want to like, you know, mm -hmm. like if, if something like I'm critical of something, I'll put it out. If I'm like excited about something, I, I put it out like um, 